Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 7 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I'm cooking up rubber saplings. What? Why would I be doing that? Well, trust me, there's a reason. Uh, so, sieving leaves will get you rubber saplings, mineral saplings, and a possibility of a few other things, as you can see. Uh, I did actually pretty good on those. I got a lot of apples for that, believe it or not. So that's not a bad way to get a lot of apples, it looks like. Uh, I sieved two stacks of oak leaves, and that's what I got out of that. So, not a bad haul, honestly. I mean, I would say. I think it's a pretty good haul, realistically. So, uh, what am I up to today? So, first, let's get ourselves some rubber saplings, and then we'll take a look at what we're looking at here. Um, so, I think I want a tree tap, is that right? Uh, from Mer Trees, and that's just going to be a couple nuggets cool uh and then i might want a tank is that right because this stuff is a liquid boom basic fluid tank yay do i do that is that what we do I'm trying to remember uh is it the wooden bucket is that what i need can i not put it into a basic fluid tank it might need to be the wooden bucket it's possible Hey, cool. Neato burrito. Look at that. Looking good. Okay. Uh, so, right now, what I'm looking to do is get myself a sticky piston so that I can make the inscribers for applied energistics. And it occurred to me I don't have a good source of slime balls. I went through and found a few ways to get slime balls. If we could get mushrooms, I could turn witch water and mushrooms into slime blocks. But I can't find mushrooms right now. Uh, I expanded my mycelium here, hoping mushrooms would grow on it randomly. And thus far, no such luck. So that's a thing. Um, so I was kind of hoping that would work, but nothing yet. Uh, so then I was like, all right, what other options do we have for slime balls? And instead of a slime ball, we could use a latex from Murtrees. Uh, we just need to make ourselves a centrifuge, and then we can turn either the saplings, the leaves, or the rubberwood logs into latex, which can be used uh, in place of slime. So let's get that going real quick. Uh, so to get that, we're going to need a machine block from this mod. Uh, so we need the fuse, we need industrial grade metal, which is smelted iron. Um, we're going to need a healthy-ish amount of that. So you get cooking there. Um, and then we're gonna need the electronic circuit, which is going to be copper and rubber. Rubber is smelted uh, this stuff. Is there a trick to this? How does, how does this work again? Getting there. Uh, so what is in this? Is this latex? Is that what it is? No. I don't think it's latex. I don't know what this liquid is. I guess we'll see when we get to a bucket's worth. Oh, cool. I right-click, I gotta get the latex. Okay, that works for me. So I just need to do that a couple of times. Um, I wonder... Did we test this last time? Does this work? I feel like that's working, right? That looks pretty good. So theoretically, I only need six of these, right? Believe that to be correct. Because uh, that'll be enough to get my electronic circuits so that we can get this thing, right? So technically, we need six latex, which I presume is just smelted rubber, right? You get smelted into, yeah. <clears throat> All right, not too shabby. I'm gonna be conservative with my time in a bottle. So I should now be able to make a fuse. Oh wow, I get a lot of those per craft, huh? And a machine block. And if I did one of these, that would be enough to get the four of these that I'm going to need. Perfect. Now I just need this last bit. Easy peasy. Mm. 
Cool. Inventory pretty good? Yeah, not terrible. Alright, where are you at? You're at getting close. I want to take Accelerated so bad. It's so hard not to. Uh, also did some processing of some junk between episodes. Uh, I think I did a full stack of com gravel, compressed gravel. And uh, one minor issue is the appetite and stuff. But if I replace this guy with an enrichment and crusher that does like the, the three-part processing from that from mechanism, I think that might be a good approach. All right, we're at 800 now. Uh, what else should I touch on? Oh, you know what I did do between episodes? Is I had a wandering trader visit me. And I eliminated him. Which is a quest, by the way. Kill the trader villager and his annoying llamas. This is personal. Alfred GG. All right. Hey, sword of Alpha Gigi for those brave enough to slaughter the mighty and annoying traitor. And a decent amount of experience. Cool. I like that. I'll uh, I'll put that as a thing. As like a, look what I did. Excellent. All right, so this will get me the centrifuge that I need. Was there another quest I completed? Oh, in mechanism I did something. Oh, yeah, that's right. I made the the bucket. There, the tank. Sweet. All right, so there's your six rubber, which should go towards making this, which should go towards making this, which should make me available to make that. And now um, I can use the centrifuge. Where do I want to stick this guy? Anywhere in particular? Oh, it doesn't really matter too much. So you should be getting... Do you have your own form of energy? FTB Industrial Crown? That's right, you do. You do. So I should get the generator. Basic generator? You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Getting there. But I'm going to need one more rubber to make the basic generator. Uh, I could get geothermal, by the way. We could bump the basic up to geothermal. That wouldn't be a bad idea, right? I, th I think that would be an exceptional idea. Actually. Is this tin? It is. Yeah, let's do the geothermal thing, right? Why not? Uh, so for this, we're going to need an iron furnace. I never have cobble on me, which is very unusual for me. I almost always have cobble on me, but not in this series so far. Because I quickly got to the point where I have, like, you know, lots of bricks. Okay, so then I just need another couple of you. I'm just going to make a few. And this guy should be coming along nicely. Sweet. That'll cook that up. And what I'll do is this copper wire recipe to save me having to wait for six more. Um stuff right so i can do this i can do this i can get four more tin make my battery make my generator upgrade it to a geothermal generator and maybe we stick this guy down in the basement that could work Yeah, for now, I'm just going to stick him like this and that. And then we've got, sweet, and I should be able to stick these rubber wood trees thingies in there, the saplings, and now we're cool. Look at that. Awesome. So now I shouldn't need any of this stuff no more. Interesting, they don't want to vein mine. But that'll do, right? I'll take it. And I'm pretty sure the leaves can be turned into... If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at that. It's weird. This block is different than these. So either the leaves or the saplings can be used to get uh, the latex that we need. To substitute for rubber. I think saplings is your highest chance, and wood's kind of low, actually. Yeah, 
we're still good. Like saplings as a guaranteed latex. Let me put the rubber or the rubber wood in here, and then we'll check the next part out. Right, uh, rubber wood has an eighty percent chance. Leaves have a thirty-five percent chance, and saplings are guaranteed. So that's not terrible. So that should be enough latex for now to get me what I would call a healthy amount. I'm just gonna put all this stuff in here as kind of miscellaneous junk. And let's put you guys away, fluid cells. Let's put the tank away. Let's put the watering can away. These things, I don't think, well, yeah, maybe. Might need my service wrench for the moment. I don't need my laser IO wrench though, I know that much. Cool. That look good? Pretty organized. So now I should be able to make a piston. Well, sticky piston. Times, I want to say 10. Right? Does that sound fair? Did I put the latex away all the way? I did. Dire, please. There we go. The 10 sticky pistons that we'll need to get into Applied Energistics. That works for me. All right, so with that covered, I can now make inscribers times this many, but I need more iron. Perfect. And inscribers I was gonna stick in the basement. We might automate with laser IO, probably will. We did this a little bit in my Let's Play, remember? Now we do have lazy or I, uh, AE2 in here. So remember this from the last guy block pack I played? Yeah, yeah, this was a good one. Um, but for now, we'll stick with the normal dudes, right? Uh, now, can I power them directly or do I need the energy acceptor? I always forget with the inscriber. Can I, can I just straight up power them automatically or what's the deal? Cool. He does accept energy, but he doesn't share with his friends. That's okay. Now you're good. All right, now let's get the, the presses, right? Uh, so we're gonna need uh, the, the calculation, the engineering, the logic, and the silicon, the four presses uh, that go along with this. Boop, 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 boop. I'm done with all you guys. Now I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, they all needed blocks of iron, is that right? Uh, so to make this, it is an iron, no, it's not. It's an iron plate from all the ores. Okay. Iron plate across the board. So it's gonna be um, a silicon, a certus, a diamond. I've got the certus, I've got the diamond. Gold, right? Um, I've got four skystone dust. The iron plates are made with this dude, or I could get a rolling machine or a multi-servo press. There are, there are ways to get this. I should probably look into this guy. Um, bronze is what I need for that, really? Okay. Um, and Constantin. Maybe I'll go with... Uh... The more expensive but easier way. This uses two iron instead of you know, but still, who cares? Uh, ba -do boop, ba -do boop, boop. Sweet. And we'll probably need another ore hammer at some point in our future, but there's lots of versions of them, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm guessing these all have different durabilities and whatnot. All right, so that should be cool. The only thing I need now is silicon. So how does one get that? We can smelt quartz or certus dust, easy enough. Is there another sneaky, tricky, kind of coolie way to get it? Uh, the uh, material stonework factory, if we get into um, industrial foregoing, which we're not quite there yet. Um, anything else? No, that's that's gonna be about it. Uh, quartz dust or certus quartz dust. Okay, now uh, these guys I assume I can make in the crusher from mechanism. And I did make a crusher from mechanism, right? I did, sweet. All right, uh, so what I'll do, how are we for Certus Quartz and how are we for Quartz Quartz? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use regular Quartz, Minecraft Quartz, 
Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because it's a lot easier to get. Right? Because all I got to do is get some soul sand and it, And we'll get a ton of quartz from that. All right. So I'm going to take half a stack of this, turn it into regular sand, and do that. Now, it would be cool of me to do more laser IOE bits. I might spend a few minutes off camera crafting more from this, because all I really need for this uh, is some gold nuggets, some redstone, and some clay balls. How are we for redstone? Mm, not great, not terrible. So that means more dust, please. And then you'll take care of that. Boom. Sweet. All right, let's put everything away here so I have a cleaner inventory. And let me make some more uh, laser IO stuff off camera so that we're kind of a bit more prepared to do a little bit more automation with stuff. So back in a sec. All right, time to sieve up a bunch of soul sand. I made a bunch more cards. I made a handful more laser nodes. I don't know that I even need to really do much more here because I mean, three at a time, it's, it's doing pretty good. I don't want to spend too many resources on it, but having those um, cards and stuff one way or another is still going to be helpful. So I'm not, I'm not sweating. Ooh, I got gas tears. Nice. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. And that'll get me a bunch more quartz, which I'm going to get three stacks of, and then I'm going to throw it in the crushing factory, which I know isn't super fast right now, but I can get more, um, more stuff, right? So, um, I've got these guys. Can I get more speed and energy upgrades? Right? So that shouldn't be too bad to get. Um, just going to need eight of that and then eight osmium, right? And uh, ultimately, we're going to need 16 of these, which is iron, which I'm a little bit low on. Let me get more gravel sieving so I can get more iron. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me put away some junk at the moment that I don't necessarily need. There we go. That cleans up the inventory nicely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. it up whoops wrong upgrade there we go okay so you're coming along nicely but still on the slower end so let's do this That'll get me more gravel. Perfect. Oh, yeah, and I still need my upgrade. Don't forget that. That's an important part of this machine. I really like that one. That, that, that sieving mod is pretty slick. I ain't gonna lie. I like that a lot. All right, and then the metallurgic infuser for redstone. Sweet. Are we having power problems, or is it just that you're not allowed to extract fast enough? I don't know. We'll see. Energy and... Oh. Yeah, I need even more redstone, don't I? Well, good thing he's processing iron at the moment. Okay. 
All right, speed and energy upgrades complete, but we are choking on power a little bit now, which is a little surprising to me. Why are we choking on power so much? Maybe I need to upgrade this dude to a higher tier because he can only output a thousand RF a tick at the moment, and I don't know how much all this is using, but I guess it's more than a thousand. Using 200 R of a tick. All right, let's upgrade this guy because I know this can output 8,000. So if I got the cubes, if I wanted to upgrade this guy to the advanced energy cube, we just need a little bit more infused alloy, which is going to be four of those. So four iron, six iron. I'd really like more iron in here. Iron's my, like, big problem right now. Sweet. Quartz dust. And this will get me a bunch of silicon, remember. We'll do two stacks of silicon for now. Although, don't forget... Okay, yeah, no. As long as you're cooking that along. So I think I needed six of these turned into the redstone-y bits. And then some gold. And uh, two osmium. And that should get me the advanced cube and some redstone. So then I get one, two of these, and I pick this dude up, and we upgrade him. Did I math that wrong? I must have, yeah. That's on me. Whoops. I think we have enough to get it there, maybe? Yeah, I think we're good. Just enough power in the blocks buffer to handle it. Excellent. Okay, so your side config is output to the top, input on the bottom. Do that with the top upgrade. Now, this guy's capable of outputting 6.4 thousand RF a tick, so hopefully. That's enough to keep everybody's power needs happy at this point. And then you are cruising up more quartz. Sweet, into silicon. Excellent. All right, let's go get what we need to get uh, from down there. So let's get one of these and one of these again. And then we've got the four plates and we need the four of these. Okay, so you go here here and here. Nice. And that'll be our first press. You, you, and you. And then we need to do gold, and then we need to do Certus. Cool. All right, and that should be a bunch of quests completed from Applied Energistics. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, so you want me to get some Fluix dust, huh? I can handle that. So let's put these in the order that I usually go with, which is, I think I go with gold first, right? Um... Gold, diamond, Certus, is that what I do? No, well, I'll do Certus first. I usually go, like, in my brain, it's the order of rareness. So Certus is, you know, the most common. Gold is the second most common, and diamond is the least common. And then um, Silicon's always at the end. And then this guy is used to combine the three, right? The Silicon, the Redstone Dust, and the other Doohickey. Cool. Okay. So now, let's automate 
some stuffs. Okay, so what we're gonna want, let's get like eight of you. Let's get like half-ish a stack of you. Half a stack of you. And then a bunch of silicon. Okay, and let's use laser IO to make this that much cooler. Cool. Let me get uh, my laser wrench and sync all these up. So you bind to these two, you bind to these two, you bind to these two. So now you guys are all connected. So you're going to extract on white. Okay. Um, do I need to filter these? I'm hoping I don't. So does this tell me can extract from left, right, back, and front? So I'm assuming we want to insert into what? Uh, and I might need some filters for this. I might need some filters. So let me get some filters. Because if I need them, I'm going to need them. Right? Um, so that's just going to be glass panes. And iron bars. Huh, you don't stack? Oh, that's right, I probably I put something in those filters, didn't I? Did I? I don't know. Alright, so uh, you're going to extract everything. You're going to insert into which side? Um, so if we put gold in here and diamond. Okay, yeah, so you do need to be filtered. That's what I'm learning. That's what I'm learning. We do need to filter this. Okay, good to know. But at least we know we can insert into the side there, and that's the correct way to go. So I'm probably going to need uh, a few more filters. Let's just do... Uh, I feel like I should make a few of these. Oh, I'm low on glass, of all things. Do we have some sand over here still I could borrow? We do. Sweet. And you're doing fine. There, now we have a bunch of filters for future use. Uh, Skystone, I don't super know what I need to do with, so we're just going to put that away. That all looks pretty good for now. Alright, so on the white channel, you're going to be allowed to insert Certus Quartz. And then you're going to extract on the orange channel. Okay, so now if I put bing bang... Boom, there you go. Cool? Cool. All right, you're going to, um, let me take these items out for now so that they don't get all confused, right? You're going to insert on the white channel gold and then extract on orange. Okay, then you're gonna insert diamonds and you're going to extract on orange and then you're going to insert silicon and you're going to extract on orange let's put you on magenta for channel two for silicon okay so then here is where things get sneaky um we want to insert on white just redstone okay so redstone will come out of the chest and go into here in this in the side on this one right so redstone will go here this one goes in the top and this is the bottom right so on the top we want to insert orange and on the bottom we want to insert magenta 
And then from the same side, we want to extract on blue, which is channel three. Okay, but extract. And then you insert on channel three. And that should be pretty functional if I did everything right. So like, you and you and you and you and you and you. So what should be happening, why did you go in there? That's, oh right, I didn't do the sneakies. <laughs> so uh, you sneaky to the top and you sneaky to the down. Okay. And that should be cool. See? Aha! Nice. Right? So everything's being made the way it's supposed to be. And then you're combining everything, and the output is here. Boom! How cool is that? So now that I have a calculation, if I'm not mistaken, I can make an acceleration card? Times two? I kind of want three, but we'll start with that. See how much faster this is now? Beautiful. That's cool. That'll help because having the one on the end be faster than all the others is a good plan. Uh, I should probably have silicon be faster too, to be fair. Um, but we'll wait until we get some more cards. So that's all good. I want Certus Quartz Dust. How about 16 of them? Well, 15 sounds good. Good call on the speed upgrades. Okay, so that gets me more dust and EXP. This got me some EXP and some random rewards. Nice, 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 nice. Let's store all this experience, by the way. Before we die and lose it all. And everything's doing <clears throat> exactly what I would want it to do at this stage, right? Exactly what I would want it to do at this stage, which is awesome. Uh, so let's look into what we actually want to get here. So we want a controller from Applied, right? We're going to want a disk drive from Applied. Nope, not CC tweaked, ME drive. Uh, we're going to want some 4K storage disks. 4K ME item storage cell. Cool. What are these portable cells? That's cool. I wonder if they're like backpacks. Are they like backpacks? I have no idea. Um, so we want some of those, and then we're going to want a crafting terminal of some kind. Ooh, there's a wireless crafting terminal, which is cool, but ME crafting terminal. Uh, and that should be the basics of an AE system, right? Boom, 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 boom. And some cables. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting the smart cables, but that's glowstone and redstone and fluix and wool. Not that we can't get string. Uh, fluix and then the Certus Quartz Dust. Yeah, we can probably pull that off. Probably wouldn't be bad. Yeah, because we have a lot of string. We should be fine there. Alright. Um, so you guys, I assume... Did you make everything? Hey, why aren't you extracting here? Insert up orange. Oh, you are. Okay, everything else was just waiting until all the others were done. Yeah, that's all. No, it's going. It's working. We just needed to finish up all these other processors. Cool. Okay. Um, sweet. Yeah, I think doing this would be the smart way to go. It'll make sure that we have enough printed silicon ready. Yeah, keep that stuff stable. All right, uh, so let's get the controller going first because that's going to be one of the bigger parts. So we need the four skystone blocks we got, which, by the way, I can totally make with lava and skystone dust, so not hard to make if we need to make more. Okay, uh, the fluix crystals and the engineering processor, we have all that we need. Now, skystone block, what is this, smelted? Yeah. So let's work on 
the ME drive first. We need this, we need this. We need more glass. Uh, we'll start with Fluix cable and then we'll make the fancier stuff later. How's that sound? Good to me. Sweet, almost a stack of it. That's beautiful. And now we should be good for the controller. Except I used all my Fluix crystal. That's okay. Let me get more sand here, because I think I burned all my sand. Oi, inventory as usual. You can go away, you can go away. Uh, what else can go away? Not much. I need most of this junk. I'm going to put away all my laser I.O. stuff. Because I think we're good with laser I.O. for the moment. And building gadgets, for that matter. There we go. Okay, you process all that. And we're going to need a healthy amount of sand. And I'm probably going to still want to get even more iron and stuff, so I'm going to process this gravel. So we'll do half of that, and then the this dude can come over here, and then this guy is cool. Okay, U plus U equals more fluid seeds, which can go into my enriching chamber, which is faster now. Nice. I should make a drawer for sand, shouldn't I? Where's these dudes? Boop and boop. Perfect. Look at that, good timing. Now we should be able to make our controller. And we have the ME drive. Did I make that already? I didn't make my, I didn't use my charger yet. Let's put it that way. I didn't use my charger yet. Did I make the ME drive? I don't think so. Uh, and then we're going to want some 4K storage components, right? Uh, so we're going to need, let's go with, let's go with four of these for the moment, which means we will need 12 1Ks, right? Oh my goodness, we are definitely low on Certus Quartz. Is that where we're low on? Yeah. You uh, and you will get me more Certus Quartz. But that's enough to get a Mark IV. Oh, we need Certus Glass. Uh, Certus Quartz Glass is what? Just a bunch of Certus Quartz Dust and Glass. That should be fine. Give me another stack of you so we can smelt that up into glass. Okay, okay, okay. And then this dude. Nice. That's a good starting point. And then let's get the crafting terminal good. Uh, we need a little bit of you. A couple of you. And what's the other one that we need? Glowstone? Is that right? Am I remembering that right? Not glowstone. This guy might need glowstone. Yeah, he does. Two glowstone. I knew glowstone was somewhere in there. I did.
Okay, I'm gonna put this extra junk away and this extra junk. And then we're gonna make one of these. And then we have this guy, nice. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, we should actually be in a really good place with this right now. Right? Because what I can do is bring a cable up here. You know, I'm excited I get to play with the new Applied Energistics now. I really am. Because I didn't do it much in my Let's Play. I said I was going to, and I never got around to it. So now it's like, yeah, I get to do it. Uh, so I probably want a wand to expand to this platform. Like I said, wands definitely have a good use when uh, you just want to expand out. In my opinion, wands are a little bit better for skyblocks than building gadgets. I mean, building gadgets definitely can do some cool things, but um, wands are a much quicker way than building gadgets, generally. Sweet. Okay. So that gives me more platforming there. Okay. ME drive. For now, I'll stick the controller where? Um, maybe just here-ish. And then we just need a little bit of power cables and we're good. That'll work for me. Now the one downside to this is it means our dynamos are definitely powering the controller directly. It's not the cube that's powering it. So that might be a little bit of a not great solution, but for now it'll be sufficient. Okay, and then our 4K drive goes in there and we are currently up and running with Applied Energistics, folks. We are good to go. Look at that, nice, loving it, all right. So let's wrap up the episode here. Uh, we'll come back next time. Uh, what I'm gonna do in the meantime is probably just dump all this stuff. Um, do we have a cobble drawer? We should probably have a cobble drawer. Right? Um, does this button do this? Oh, look at that, cool. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get the hang of it. But we should definitely have a cobble drawer here. And... Then I can have this stuff kind of cleaned up a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, we're going to wrap up here. We'll come back next time and have more fun uh, getting Applied Energistics up and running. And then we can get into all kinds of good things because crafting will be easier for us. Item storage, item access, all that stuff will be awesome. We should get an external storage bus on our drawers. All the standard things uh, that you guys have come to know and love uh, as it relates to Applied Energistics and or refined storage uh, upgrading things. Cool. For now, Daryl20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time, and, you know, I want more drawers. I want drawers for all these types of stone. Uh, for now, though, take it easy.